The Wild Robot was a cinematic masterpiece that once again proved that DreamWorks knows how to make great animated movies. This weekend I went to go see The Wild Robot because I had heard that the animation was fantastic, the story was good, and mainly because I saw the teaser trailer and it caught my attention. Now admittedly, this teaser trailer felt like it was more set up in a way that I thought DreamWorks was going to try their own version of something like Disney's movie Bambi. In my defense, the teaser trailer had no voice lines, beautiful animation, and was mostly led by a musical chorus. However, even though that this movie is not like a Bambi movie, my thoughts on this film do not sway. The film itself was based on the book The Wild Robot, published by Peter Brown. Unfortunately, I did not get the chance to read the book before the film's release date because I did not know it was based on a book until the last second. So I honestly feel that I cannot do a proper film versus book comparison yet until I have both read the book and have seen the movie again when I do a full breakdown later. So until then, I am your host the night. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Here's a proper reaction to the film. Once again, I feel like I must clarify that this movie was animated beautifully. To the point that I dare say that it was better than one of their more animated masterpieces, Puts in Boots, The Last Wish. It was the main highlight of the film, with the lighting, shading, and the crisp mixture of 2D and 3D animation. All parts fit together nicely in this film, from the tone changes of the hopeful moments to the dramatic changes of the intense moments. If you are a fan of high quality animation, then I guarantee that you will love this film. Now the main plot line for the story itself admittedly feels like one that has been beaten to death, where a robot tries to find their identity and goes beyond their programming. However, the main plot for this movie somehow manages to take that synopsis in a different direction. One where the audience wouldn't roll their eyes at another all life matters, even robots lesson, but rather be intrigued by the wild robot's journey in understanding her role in her new environment that she was thrown into. Unfortunately, I do have to admit that some of the main plot points felt a bit rushed in some areas. However, I can excuse these moments easily because it made room for the more highlighted moments that the film was trying to address. I know that seems like a very vague statement, but I am trying to keep the spoilers to a minimum so that you can enjoy it yourselves. Now, like I said before, I have not read the book, but I do have a critique that there were some shots in the film that were either mentioned in the book or at least referenced. The reason I bring that up is because those shots were noticeable and did throw me off a bit while I was watching the film. I know that's a pretty petty critique, but it felt like it had to be mentioned. A counterpoint to this fallout though, was the fact that it proves to me at least that DreamWorks did stay true to the original story by adding in those details that might not have been able to be included for the main plot. So props to them if that is the case. Again, I haven't read the book. So sorry. The acting was also a main point to the film's credit, as many actors did an incredible job with their roles. Lupita Nyong showcased her brilliant voice acting skills when playing both her main character as well as the other robots portrayed in this film. Pedro Pascal and Kit Connors did an incredible job with their supporting roles, as well as the other actors who I was surprised to learn were in the film. No joke, the credits themselves were kind of fun to watch because of the amount of talent I learned were playing these beloved characters in this project. So overall, the animation was fantastic, the story was great, the voice acting was spot on, and the humor was DreamWorks, which in this case was a good thing. I give The Wild Robot a 9.5 out of 10 review. If you haven't seen it, then I recommend you give it a shot before it leaves theaters 
Seriously, it is worth your time. I will be doing a full breakdown when the film comes out to streaming or DVD, as well as a book versus movie video. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe to support more content like this as well. I am your host of the night, signing off until the next video. Take care and God bless you. All lives, <clears throat> dang it, seriously, stupid fridge, shut up. If you have any suggestions or questions, peel, peel.